It's that time. It's that time. We gotta go get the magnets. Retrieve the Dangerosos. So we're gonna be testing out these insane 1200 pound pull force magnets against the Galaxy S9 today to see if the reinforced Gorilla Glass 5 can stand up better than the iPhone 10 glass versus these magnets. My hopes are not high. The hopes, hopes not high, but let's find out anyway. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started from my classic Gizmo Slip shirt. This was limited edition, only two shirts were printed. It is me and my boxers after kicking cactus. So we've had the magnetic putty on the magnets for a while now. And you can, you can see that it has shapedified quite nicely. Same 1200 pound magnets is definitely enough to cut your skin, maybe break a finger, break a bone. Speaking of which, how is your hand from the last, the last video? Scarred. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh my god, a blood blister. So we've got these insane magnets. Uh, they have 600 pounds of pull force when they're fully brought together. You can see that it can really just, through the box, it can attract the other one and just have it stick there. Wow, it just, <laughs> holy, it just sucks to the Galaxy S9. Something in the Galaxy S9 is way more magnetic than the iPhone 10. Okay. We're ready. We've got the Galaxy S9 set up just like the iPhone 10. This is going to be magnetic force on magnetic force. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh man. Holy crap. Oh, jeez. Wow. The back of it is just decimated. <laughs> Let's see what happens. The magnets are coming together and they're like literally just bullet rotating towards each other right just now. twisting on axis. That is so gnarly. They're about oh, to collapse. They this collapse is... sideways, so they hit. The phone crunches. I don't see any breakage yet. And then they come together. Oh, it's just that whip effect. They just whoop -cha, slap out and it moves the whole phone. Do you see the whole phone rotate and wiggle? It just got flexible. Oh, and on the right side, you can see glass shards going everywhere. Though, Holy with just crap. the back glass broken, maybe it's still functional. Like, you could throw a case on it and be okay. Yeah? Let's go take a close look at that S9. Okay, so how do we get these off without completely... And oh, notice the S9 screen is still on. It's actually wanting a software update right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I kind of think something's wrong with me. Could you fix it? I'm trying to think of how we can get this off. I have PTSD from last time. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some gloves downstairs. That would yeah. help protect the skin at least from being pinched off. Here we go. I'm gonna try to separate these. So I'm gonna go away first. Jeez, this is so scary. Holy crap! I'm literally pressing down with like most of my weight and they're not even moving. But you can see it move just like an eighth of an inch, but it's just the magnets are so strong. <laughs> my thought is if we could set this on the deck edge, maybe we could push one off. This is what we came up with to separate these insane magnets. So we're just gonna put it inside here, which will hold on to one of the magnets really good. Then we're gonna use this giant two by eight board and push down like that. Let's see if you can get it there, Darren. Oh no, oh no. And they're flipped together. Oh no. Check out this phone, dude. You can see kind of the impact, the four corners of the magnet where it hit, and then a spot where a little extra speck of magnet got slammed into it. The phone itself is working great so far. That is impressive that it actually survived to this point. Well, let's see if we can get these apart. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, finally. Okay, well, let's do this again. Here we go in three, two, one. Ooh, that is indeed shattered extremely well. All right, so uh, let's see the overall initial damage. Whoo, we got a nice cracky wacky crack. Jeez. Let's see if the screen will turn on. As far as I can tell, nothing is happening when I press the screen on button. Nothing indeed. This S9, I think, is gonna be just completely done so. We're gonna try taking these apart. Now, vertically, I was able to get them apart last time. Let's see if I can do this. As <laughs> both Jeff and I step back a little bit. <laughs> I know, you guys both just step back at the same time. That is not very reassuring, guys. <laughs> 
one. Damage, that divot though is just insane. Now, when we watch the slow-mo clip, I bet we'll be able to see the impact and the glass ripple and then shatter. It'll go just like this. And it'll make that sound. Glass, when it shatters, almost looks a little bit like water for its initial ripple. And then the stress of that ripple just fractures it. Yep. It's it's really, really cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the slow-mo clip. Now I'm really curious if the bottom magnet goes up at all or if it just kind of stays down. And you can see the corner that impacts first. It does come up just a little bit. It elevates like a it did. millimeter. It did elevate? A little bit, just a small I little bit. I want to see it elevate. No way. Yep, it does elevate before it hits. Literally the bottom magnet and the phone raise up into the air to meet it. Yep. It ascends like a dove to heaven. I don't know about that. Here we go. We're gonna play it frame by frame and watch this impact ripple happen. Boom! Yeah, dude, it's, it's totally just liquid right now. Boom, 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 and look at that. Just ripple throughout the whole thing. I think this one seems so much more epic because we can see it at such a higher frame rate, so we can see that like wobble in the, in the glass. Holy crap, that was amazing. Okay, so we've got the S9 here. Oh my goodness, that is one decimated S9. Jeez, just comparing this to how the iPhone 10 hit. The iPhone 10 survived the initial impact, at least the screen did to an extent. Some of it was still functional. The S9 took the first hit and the back shattered and the front was completely fine. But in the second one, it just was completely wiped. I think we seem to see a fairly similar pattern with Samsung versus iPhone, where the Samsung ones tend to last a little bit more before the screen breaks. But when it breaks, when it breaks the whole thing's done. Done. And the iPhone tends to break a little bit sooner, but right. it stays it's functional. Sta the rest of it stays functional except for that little area. So, uh, in my opinion, the iPhone 10 wins this duke out battle between the S9 and the iPhone 10 because the iPhone 10 still had a screen turn on even though it was radically shattered. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to enter the Razer phone giveaway if you want to enter to win a $700 smartphone. It is a freaking awesome phone. The Razer phone is fantastic. That 120 hertz display. Uh, the giveaway ends at the end of April here, so this is your last chance to enter. The winner will be picked on May 1st. I'll be announcing the winner on Twitter and the YouTube community tab, so be uh, keeping an eye out for that. And they'll be giving away something else epic in May, so stay tuned for that May giveaway. Word. Word. Bird. Bird is the word. <laughs> That's where we're going. Bird. Can we have Peter Griffin play us off now? <laughs> well, bird, bird, bird. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more awesome destruction test wackiness, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. We'll see you next time. Brandon and Darren out. Woo! Woo!